What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas, and we are at the Dallas RV Show this weekend. The RV Show is at Dallas Market Hall Thursday through Sunday. That is February 24th through the 27th. And I just stumbled upon this Bullet Premier 34 BI PR. So that is the Bullet Premier. And this is a travel trailer floor plan that I've never seen before. This has a ton of floor space, a ton of sleeping space. You have three slide outs on it. So a slide out in the bunk room and opposing slides in the living room. It has a ton of floor space as well. So let's go look at it. What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button and become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the world. If you wanna connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below. We are here at the Dallas RV Show this weekend. So it'll be February 24th through the 27th at Dallas Market Hall. And if you see an RV that you like, you can text me at the screen and I can get you purchasing information or you can come meet me at the show and I would love to help you out in purchasing your next RV. Now let's get to the video. All right, y'all. So this is the 2022 Bullet Premier 34BI, which BI stands for Bunkhouse Island. So you have a bunk room and an island kitchen in here. And then when you look it up online, it's usually a 34 BI PR. The PR is just for a premiere, indicating that it is a bullet premiere model. And with the premiere in bullet, you have three different bullet lines. So the premiere is going to be still a lightweight trailer for the size that it's at, but the bullet premiere is their most premium line. You're gonna have a lot of upgraded features on there. Definitely gonna have two ACs, going to have a fireplace, a big 50 inch screen TV, or right around a 50 inch screen TV in most of your bullet premiere models. You have the island kitchen in here as well. You have the outdoor entertainment area. You can see you have a TV, refrigerator and some storage space and it is a big fifth wheel let's take a look at the specs you'll see them on the screen here and then i'm gonna go look at the door real quick actually and figure out exactly how long this thing is because this thing is long so it's a uh, 7800 pounds exactly on the dry weight and it is 38 feet one inches long so it is a big bunkhouse travel trailer and then we'll go look at the specs on the back as well as we walk around and look at the front but 7,800 pounds dry weight. So you're most likely gonna want a three quarter ton truck to haul something like this of this size. If you have a really beefed up half ton and plan on towing on just flat terrain, you may be able to get away with towing something like this. Um, something that has that 11.5 or 12,000 pound towing capacity and a half ton potentially can get away with towing this all right. But I would recommend a three quarter ton for most people on this size travel trailer. And you can see here, we're uh, pinned up against the wall here. So tough to get around the entire trailer, but we'll work on everything out here and showing you as much as I can with what we're working with. So 7,800 pounds on the dry weight, and then you are going to have a gross vehicle weight rating of 74, or, sorry, 9,400 pounds there. And then I wanna point out these, these are new latches that they're putting on this year on the Keystone. So really easy, nice, easy to grab handle there that has a grip on the other side as well. So when I flip this up, I think you can see the little rubberized grip on the other side. Makes it real easy for those to latch. And then you actually have a pin here that holds that in place so it won't slam on your head. All your water hookups down underneath here and you're going to have your controls for your electric stabilizers as well. So fresh water and city water connection. And you also have outdoor shower hookups as well. So if you wanna connect a water source there, you can. And it will come with a 25 foot coil hose that you see on the other side there. As you look underneath here, look at how big this space is in the pass-through storage. Absolutely huge. And then you have the Victron solar charge controller because there is a 200 watt solar panel on the roof so that is going to be working with the solar panel to keep your batteries charged um definitely going to be important with the r or the 12 volt battery powered refrigerator inside making sure that you have enough power always being sent to that battery to keep it charged and you can see it's inverter prepped so if you wanted to expand upon the solar system throw an inverter in here and add another solar panel there's like usually around seven outlets or so inside that will be inverter prepped so that if you do add that inverter in another solar panel, you can get power to outlets in there as well from solar. Also want to point out on the framing here, you do have welds on both sides of your framing. So good construction there. And that's about everything on this side. You also have another solar plug here if you want to just plug in a solar panel on the side of the unit that will help charge the battery as well. 
Um, on your slide out here, you can see it's the cable, the cable driven slide system. So that basically is going to pull and push all four corners at the same time. So you get a smooth in and out motion from your slide out, preventing any floor damage with that slide out mechanism there. And then with your front cap, this is something that is different on the Premier than the other bullets. You have this really nice automotive style fiberglass front cap with this painted on rock guard. So this is that really um, textured paint that goes on here that is your rock guard on there. And it is a really beautiful looking front cap, a little bit bigger profile than something like this bullet right here that is just a standard bullet. Gives you a little bit bigger profile on the front end and is really nice looking. You have 20 pound propane bottles up front and then you're gonna have your battery compartment back here. It looks like you could probably fit at least two batteries on that spot there. And you have a um, battery disconnect switch on that red knob right there. Power tongue jack up front as well. And then looking at your pass-through storage from this side, you can see how big this pass-through storage is. And you do have this little um, pin board here that you can organize different accessories in as well. As we come underneath here, let's take a look at the underbelly. You're gonna have a fully wrapped and enclosed underbelly. All your water tanks and water lines will be sitting in this enclosed compartment above the insulation where you are going to have heat being fed into there as well so that those don't freeze up whenever you're running your furnace. Radiant heat will be keeping your water tanks and water lines warm. And then it's just one single dump spot. So you can see that spot right there. That is going to be your dump station there and it is just one single spot that you have to worry about. So don't have to bounce around to different spots to dump your tanks. Coming to this side, this is your slide out in the living area. Having the slide out here and the slide out on the other side gives you room for the island kitchen. And then you have your awning that comes out over this area as well. Plus you have your outdoor entertainment space that is covered by the door right here. So you have all this entertainment space. And then coming to the back, you have an additional little storage compartment underneath here that is under one of your bunk beds. Then you have your back wall here, backup camera prep so you can't install a backup camera. You have a spare tire. You also have storage in the bumper here. So this will pop off so you can store things in the bumper. And you also have a propane quick connect line that runs to the back of the trailer here. That line runs all the way up to the propane bottle in the front. So you'll have a propane quick connect back here as well. And that just about completes everything on the outside. You have the LED light strip under here as well. So that'll light up your outside area here. And then as we go inside, You'll have the Lippert solid steps. So this is gonna be a three step system here, giving you a solid step to the ground, a big top step as well. And it's very wide. I um, like to point out too, how wide this Lippert step is. Definitely tell a difference between some of the other stuff here. When you step into one that has a narrower stair, you definitely feel it. You have a screen door here. And as you come inside, first of all, you have coat hanging space. And then look at how much floor space is in this bunkhouse travel trailer. I'm telling you, I just feel like I've never seen anything that has this much floor space in a bunkhouse travel trailer. They did a great job with this floor plan design and the use of space. As I sit here, I mean, it just feels so open. It almost doesn't feel like there would even be bunks in this trailer with how open it feels. I've definitely gone into travel trailers that do not have bunk beds. A lot of them that don't even feel this open. So really, really impressed by what they did here. You can see you have the big recliner chairs. These are the more premium Thomas Paine furniture and they do have a little bit wider seat with the big armrest and two cup holders there. Has a legless dinette table. So this is freestanding and will go up and down. Push that down to turn that into a bed there and then it's actually not all the way up right now but it'll go up a little bit higher. You got these pull out drawers for storage underneath the dinette seats. So easy access to your storage underneath there. And then you have this, it's kind of like a PVC or plastic material woven carpet here. So it's very flexible, very durable. And then you can see it has a pretty significant overlap, but you have wrapped flooring underneath there as well. So your sub flooring underneath the slide out is wrapped. There are a lot of brands that don't do that. So it is a potential for that flooring there to potentially get wet if something were to happen that not only this woven material and the multiple layers you have in that, but also the wrap flooring underneath there is going to prevent water damage over time happening to your sub flooring underneath there. 
You also have a barreled ceiling in the Bullet Premier. So you can see the barreled ceiling, giving you the added ceiling height. The ceiling height in here is about six, seven or six, eight. So pretty tall. Island kitchen, get the plugs and outlets inside of this little pop down or pop up outlet spot there. 10 cubic foot refrigerator. Now, here's one little critique of this model. If you are someone that's very adamant about being able to get to your refrigerator with the slide outs closed, this model prohibits that with that being pushed up to the island. So very simple to just push your slide out out about halfway and be able to open that door. But this one does go to the slide out how it currently sits or to the island how it currently sits with the slide all the way in. And you'll have to push that slide out just a little bit to get that refrigerator open if you do need that. Again, big, about 50 inch TV here. That looks about a 50 inch to me. And fireplace here that will put out heat as well. So in your island, you're gonna have some extra storage because of that as well. So as we open these up here, you can see your storage space that you have under the island. And then you're gonna have two additional drawers right here that pull out. So you'll have that additional island storage, single basin sink. Then you'll have four more drawers here. That will all be the same size and depth. And then underneath your stove, you'll have this big compartment here. These tools there are to manually override the slide outs. So they give you those tools there as well. More storage next to the microwave. You have the Furion microwave, pretty much a standard size RV microwave. And you have the three burner cooktop with storage space underneath here, outlet up in the cabinetry so it's up out of the way. And then you have all solid surface countertops in here as well. So solid stone countertop. Little extra storage space here in the island. You can see the shelving there. And yeah, that's just about it. Looks like your outlets for the island are just in this space right here with that pop-up. Last little bit of storage space that you have, this is probably what most people use as a pantry. You have the movable shelves. This will open up as well. You'll have that storage space. Plus you'll have this clothing rod there as well if you wanted to use that as a coat closet. And you also have surround sound in here. So you have a speaker here and a speaker up there, which will give you a more even sound distribution throughout this RV that definitely sounds a lot better than just having your speakers directly up here shooting at you better sound covers throughout the RV. All right, that's pretty much everything for the living space. Let's go into this bunk room where you have a slide out in the bunk room, giving you a pull out sofa here that will make to a full size bed, a flip down bunk there. And look at all of the space you have in this bunk room, tons of floor space. And you're going to have a spot for a TV there. You also have the AC in here so you can cool this space down a little bit better especially if you have so many people in here and you're going to have closet storage space. You have outlets right here. Again, this bunk will flip down here so you can flip that bunk down and have an additional bed and you have TV hookups in the ceiling windows on both sides here, plus a window behind the bunk on the other side as well. And more outlets here, light for each bunk. And make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, that's just about it. These are going to be single size bunks here. So you can sleep up to two people when you pull that out to a bed. And then another one here. So that's three, four, five people in this bunk room. And it's just an incredible amount of space in here. Definitely a spot where someone could just come in here and hang out if they wanted to even. So definitely love this layout and everything that you have inside this bunk room area here. Very nice design as far as the amount of space that you get in this bunkhouse. So very impressed with the amount of space overall that we have so far. And as we come back into here, that you have a pass-through bathroom. So porcelain toilet in the bath. You're gonna have a corner shower and you, have, you can see you have the dual entrance into there. So when you go into the bedroom, all your wardrobe, closet space, storage along the top. This is a residential queen size bed in here. Then you have your entrance into the bathroom as well with the corner shower. In the bedroom area, one thing I really like about the bullets is they give you this two shelf system with the hole there so you can run electrical stuff down to your outlets or USB ports. Again, these outlets are inverted as well. And then you have a really nice headboard design 
wardrobe hanging space in here. Plus you have these pull out cabinets. Lift this up and you will have storage underneath the bed as well. And as we go to this side, you'll have another little opening that goes to your pass-through storage underneath that is nicely finished out. Finally, you have your overhead storage that's all the way through unobstructed. You have TV hookups in here, so you can install a TV. It would hook up right there and install on that wall. And they do have an AC vent in here as well. And the two ACs will both be sending air to this bedroom. So they will be working together to get your air back here. With the shower, see it's a corner shower here. So I'm gonna open that up, give you an idea of the space in there. And then another thing I wanna talk about, first of all, another inverted outlet here, storage space in the bathroom and medicine cabinet. You have a skylight in the shower as well with that um, huge bubble that you have there. I mean, you probably have to be six and eight, six, nine to start being too tall to fit in that space. So a really tall bubble in the shower. Now with your AC vents, I wanna talk about this blade AC vent that we have here. This is a Keystone exclusive where you're probably used to seeing directional vents that just shoot air down in one direction. Well, these here shoot out air in a 360 degree motion that is giving you significantly more air coverage with the air coming out of this vent. Plus it's quieter because of how wide the openings are. So a really quiet AC system and Keystone has found in their um, lab testing that they, I think they spent over a year coming up with this system here. They're finding that these blade vents are cooling RVs down up to 20% quicker. So that is something that is really cool to see. Um, I've turned the ACs on in these RVs and it is super quiet because of how this is designed. And you can feel the air coming out in every direction, which is giving you significantly better air coverage. So something really cool that Keystone is doing now. Another thing I forgot to point out, on all your windows, you have the pull down blackout shades. So you'll have that on all your windows in here as well. And that is just about everything. Give you one final look at this floor space here and how nice it looks. Well, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the world. Now, if you like this RV or if you've seen any other RV out there that you like, you can contact me at the number on the screen there. I would love to help you out. And if you do plan on coming to the Dallas RV show this weekend, I'm really excited to meet you. You can text me at that number on the screen as well if you're planning on coming and want to meet up while you're here at the show. I am in a sales position, so I can assist you through every part of your purchasing process for your next RV and would love to help out with that. So if I can help you out in any way, text me at the number on the screen there and I will reach out to you and look forward to meeting you. So that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping or I'll see you at the Dallas RV show.